guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought for this video, I might do a bit of a vlog because I've had so much going on, you guys. Sometimes it's just really hard to go upstairs and do a sit down video. So anyway, you guys, I just got back from grocery shopping. Here is the loot. Here is the haul. <laughs> and I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I just heard Keith pull up, so he just got home. It's actually about 4.12 in the afternoon, May the 1st. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, so I need to run back to the store and get a gift bag. I totally forgot about that. Oh, here comes Keith. Hey, Keith. <laughs> all right, so I got a bunch of salad stuff, and I got some beautiful flowers. I always buy fresh flowers when I go grocery shopping. So anyway, you guys, as you can see, the way I'm talking, I'm over, the light's better here. It's loosening up, but it's still kind of got a knot right there. The bruising is almost gone, but it's a lot better. It's a lot better than it was, so. And I'm not feeling as tired, so that's a good thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna put away some of these groceries and I'll be back in just a bit. Oh, I did buy a few little clothing items at Walmart because I need some shorts and like the tank tops were like three bucks. Turn this light on. Okay, so I'll just show you that. How's it going, Keith? Good. All right, so I got, I got these little gray shorts. I thought those were really cute and they kind of tie and I got, and I got this little pink spaghetti strap cami to go with the gray shorts. I got this white cami. It actually has a, like a bra in it. And I like to wear stuff like this because like today, that's what I'm wearing with a kimono. Kimono. And I got these, they're the same style. So I got these little denim shorts. So I lay the outfits together. Just two little short outfits for the summer. I love the Time and True brand. Okay. So see, I just got the little white one and it's got the bra in it with those shorts. I can mix and match in these. They had like all different colors and then this little light pink and gray I thought was cute. And I'll probably just wear like a little kimono over it and some flip flops. So that's the way I like to dress in the summertime, just casual. I'll link some cute stuff for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna put some of these groceries away and I'll be back. Hey Gus. Hey Gus. Gus. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> All right, let's let Gus in, you guys. Come on, Gus. Come on. Gus. Ella. Ella. All right. There he goes. His food bowl. He knows right where to go. I did want to ask your opinion. Do you think that my jaw seems to be loosening up like I'm talking better? <laughs> because I see myself every day. It just feels like it is to me. So I just wondered what you guys thought. All right guys, so I'll be back in just a bit and I'll show you some of the arts and crafts stuff that I got. Okay, so when Keith came in, he had the mail and I already opened this, you guys. This is a perfume and it's by KKW. It's Kim Kardashian's brand. Are you no, Keith, I was telling him about my perfume. And my daughter has bought like five or six different scents. And I liked every one of them except one. Anyway, it's all super cheap. And so Keith ordered me this. And I'll show you guys. It's called Opal Drip. I haven't checked the website because my daughter said it was going to be taken down because she's rebranding and changing her name. Whatever. It smells so good, you guys. Ooh, I loved it. And I think the price of it was like in the 20, 20 something dollars. So, opal drip. Let me get better lighting. It looks like an egg, like that. Okay, so I'll take that out. If I can get it out, because I'm doing this one-handed, you guys, I don't like this one-handed business. That is not the way I roll. <laughs> See, it looks like an egg. I took the top off, and this is the actual perfume. It 
Oops. Let me get it pumped. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the notes are. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Really? Go on the website. I really hope it's still there. I'm about to go back right now and look. And I remember she got another one. I don't know the what the name of it was, but it was red lips. But I didn't like the pink lips, but I like the red lips. Or was it vice versa? <laughs> Okay, don't get the lips. I mean, you might like the lips. This was my, this is, ugh. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna read what the notes are and put it across the screen, you guys. It has a bit of warmth. It has a bit of, bit of a floral scent, but not too florally. Oh my gosh. This could be a nighttime scent. This could be a sexy scent. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's all. That's all I have to say. Oh my gosh. So anyway, yeah, KKW. So this has been several days ago, you guys. So hopefully the website is still up. My daughter, she's always ordered from there. I don't know why I haven't because I've always liked everything she got. But this right here, I fell in love with it. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I honestly feel like if I don't go in there and wash this off, it's four o'clock, it's almost five o'clock, Keith's gonna wanna water the plants and I got stuff to do. So it's, it's that good. <laughs> it's that good, you guys. Okay guys, there is my dinner. I have a salad, it's an arugula salad with tomatoes. I have some feta in there, a couple of Kalamata olives, onions, and some Parmesan cheese, and tomatoes, and unsweetened tea. I'm on a journey, you guys. But not because I wanna be, but because I have to be, okay, for my health. I've been losing a little bit of weight, about six pounds so far, but it's not because I wanna lose weight. I mean, I do wanna lose weight, but that's not why I'm doing it. My A1C was up, and I am gonna fight it. I'm not gonna go through what my dad went through with his health. So yeah, it's it, it really hit me hard, you guys. I have go, went around bragging that I never gained weight. I can eat like a teenager. No, I didn't gain weight, but I'm eating my, myself right into being a type two diabetic. So you guys, this is the way I'm gonna eat from now on. Okay guys, so now I wanna show you guys what I've been working on and some of the things that I got that I'm gonna make to take to the maker's market where all my work is. All right, let's go into the pool house studio. <laughs> Turn on the lights. I do, I do need to come out here and do a lot of cleaning, you guys. I need to bring my Roomba out here. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so. Okay, so this painting is finished. I put it on Instagram. So it's hydrangeas and sunflowers uh, in just kind of a glass uh, bowl. And it's kind of dramatic, I think, because of the background. So that one's finished. I just need to get it framed. And then this one is a seascape, but it's not finished. Because I've got my reference photo here. And I just have to work on it. And then along here is the water. So I need to make that lighter. Change the value there. But anyway, I'm doing this for myself because I want to hang it here in the pool house, over here in this little sitting area. I'm gonna hang it there, right there. So I painted that for myself. So what I've been working on, you guys, is this little, it's on wood. I went down in the basement and got a bunch of wood. So I thought this was super cute because this is my dream car. <laughs> it really is. I think I'm gonna do a sun, like a rainbow here and more flowers and 
I don't know. I'm really just doing it for myself, but I would definitely sell it. But it's just a little fun project. I like to work on things like that when I'm in between. This table's a mess. When I'm in between paintings, just to keep something going, just to keep my artistic adrenaline going. So I did this. It's on a piece of wood. And it's finished all except I need to add a couple of little ladybugs on the leaves. I put some little bees. There's some little bees. But on that big leaf, I'm going to put a few little ladybugs. And it's finished. I just need to sign it. I'll probably just take that to Maker's Market. That's a oil painting that I'm not finished with. I just have it blocked in. I have too many projects going. This is another one. It's just on wood. It's a seascape. And I'm going to do just the silhouette of palm trees. I don't know if I'll do one or one here and one here. That's on wood. And then here's all the wood that I went down in the basement and got. This is on wood. Birds sitting on a wire. I thought about turning one upside down. You know, you always have the oddball, <laughs> but I'm not sure. And then I did all these little birds. These are five by sevens. If you ever see anything you want to purchase, just message me. So I could sell all four of them, except this one I forgot to paint its tail, believe it or not. So I drew it in. So I'm going to paint the tail in. If you want to purchase any of these, just let me know. Because I've had a lot of people ask me about buying some of my art. So that's what I've been working on out here, and I just wanted to show you guys. Once I get all that finished, I have other projects in mind. I'm going to do some coasters out of wood. So when I was at Walmart, I got all this stuff. I've already done some things like this. It's just this uh, rustic round poplar. Poplar? See, like that? And it's great to paint with acrylics. So I got three of them. They're all shaped a little bit different. And then I got three packs of these. There's four in them. And to make little coasters. Make little coasters. See? Okay. Yeah, I got three packs. I think that's all they had or I would have gotten more. And then I got some colors that I have run out of. You guys, this is pretty good for little crafts and things like that. Apple barrel paint. It's not wanting to focus. So I got some purples. You always need white. And pinks, red, yellow. I got plenty of green, so I didn't get any of that. So, I'm going to be working on all this stuff. I'm going to take it to the Maker's Market along with this piece. That piece when I finish it and when it's dry. All of these birds, all of that's going. And this one, I think I'm going to have a custom frame made for it. Because I normally paint on the side, but this one I just want to frame it. So... I'm a little attached to it because it was a rework. Like it's been in my closet for a year and I got it out and reworked it. So that's what's going on in my studio. I actually don't have any classes scheduled right now, which is really odd, but I think next week I'm going to announce a class. Cause I need to make some money, you guys. I need to sell some stuff. <laughs> need to make some money and sell some stuff. Okay. So I just come out here to show you guys that. So you guys, I do have an unboxing. It's nothing major, nothing major. Look at this. I'm about to plant some bulbs in this. Look at that planter. My good friend, she's really in our family. She's my grandson, Evan, uh, his other grandmother. She got me that for my birthday. She had one in her garden and I just loved it. So she got me one. So I just love that. Early birthday gift. All right, my birthday is actually May the 8th. So I will have a birthday unboxing. I have no idea what Keith has planned, you guys. No idea at all. 
he told me not to be expecting uh, anything that cost ten thousand dollars i was like what <laughs> when do i ever expect that <sighs> i can't wait to get my money though because i am going to cartier when i get my money for my bag all right you guys let's go upstairs and do the little unboxing that i have okay welcome back to my office guys all right so let me show you something you see those boxes right here and this Dior box okay all of these are gifts for me to me for my birthday except this one this is a mystery gift I have no idea who sent it it's a mystery gift there's no name I peeked inside because I didn't know if I ordered it you guys but I didn't get it out. Once I saw that I did not order it, I didn't get it out. So, who sent the mystery gift? <laughs> anyway, it's just some little knickknacks. Nothing major. Nothing major. Just some knickknacks and a little treat. And really, my birthday is coming up. And I didn't even ask for anything. Usually, Keith will say, what do you want for your birthday? And I'll have something in mind, you guys. But I don't have anything in mind. Like... I mean, I said, I don't know, just get me whatever you want me to have. I mean, he knows what I like, and he's really good about picking out gifts for me. But uh, there's nothing I want. And in my video, when I talked about my Birkin, you guys, I said I was bagged out. And Andrew made the comment, bagged out? Andrew, I know that's hard to believe. And then I started thinking... Am I do am I at purse peace? Is this what it feels like? There's not really anything I want except the baguette, okay? But it's not a bag. It's a baguette. It's not a bag. It's a baguette. It's a different thing altogether. But that's really I'm saving for a baguette, you guys. I'm gonna buy it myself with my art money. I just I want to. And I'm, I'm selling some things. And I sold everything from my vlog sale except the cheetah print bum bag. And I didn't sell the Birkin 35 Mai Tai organizer. I didn't sell that. Seemed like there's something else. But anyway, you guys. Let me show you my bag of the day. And I have an unboxing. So, this is the bag. Beautiful bag. My soft trunk bag that I have been using all weekend. I love it, you guys. Oh my gosh. Keith actually said this weekend, where did you get that bag? What's on it? Anyway, I said, Keith, I said, I had been looking for it online. It, you know, it was always sold out. And then one night, there it was, bam, it just popped up. And I thought, oh my gosh. So I went in there and told him, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get it, okay? I mean, do you have a problem with that? And he's like, no, go ahead. And then he's like, where'd that come from? <sighs> you guys. <sighs> anyway, I love it. And the strap is detachable. You could just carry it as a little clutch. But I usually wear this crossbody, you guys. And uh, Dale, hi Dale, she has this bag. I don't, I, th I think she thinks I copied her, but I think that she knew that I wanted it. She did get hers first. I really do think that Dale knew I wanted it and she's becoming obsessed with me just about like Autumn is and Dawn and a few others. And she bought it before I could get mine. <laughs> I can't, I can't laugh yet, you guys. <sighs> do you think my mouth's any better? I don't know. I, can, I think it is. I think the swelling is going down, but whatever. But anyway, this has been my bag of the weekend. I love it. ABS, ABS, ABS. I have a little something to unbox. Oh my gosh, it's going to be hard to change. It's going to be hard to change you out. Beautiful. I really am. I'm not saying I'll never buy bags because I will. But right now, I'm just not in the mood. And like my birthday, I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. I, don't, I bought a few little treats. And uh, I think my daughter's going to have me on Mother's Day. My, my birthday's on Mother's Day. So she's getting having me a little get-together. And it's not, it's not just for me. It's for my sister, her mother-in-law, 
she's gonna combine my birthday with Mother's Day. So we're gonna have a, a nice meal over there, a cookout Sunday. So happy Mother's Day, you guys. Love you guys so much. All right, you guys, so here it is. Now, when I say I'm not gonna be buying bags, I don't mean that literally. I just mean like right now, I'm bagged out. But this is a bag, but it's not an expensive bag. And I say this all the time, but I feel like I should because people start coming for me. This is only a couple hundred bucks and it was on sale, like a good sale. And I've been looking at it for a really long time and it was $100 off. How do I get into this thing? Where is my... Oh, here it is. It was only, I don't know, like 300 and something and I got $100 right at a hundred dollars off so I thought I've looked at it so much and what in the you guys oh I've looked at it so so much once I got that plus the Rakuten I'm like yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna try it out because like I said my coach bags and things like that some of them are forever bags and I have been going through my closet I'm getting rid of things like I did that sale and I might have another sale and also look at my Instagram sometimes I post stuff there and I sell on Mercari. All right guys, coach, coach. All right. Hey. Mm, I see it. I see it. I see it you guys. Let me get it out of here. There it is. Oh my god. Ooh, it's bigger than I even thought. That's what she said. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's the front? I don't even know. Okay. It's that. What is the name of this? I'll put it across the screen, you guys. I got it from the Coach, not the outlet, Coach. And like I said, I got a great deal. Let me take all this off and I'll be back. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. And like I said, I have looked at it. ABS, you guys, all in the wrist. Dawn, take note. See how it flows? Jane, you need some help. All in the wrist, ladies all in the wrist okay you see how it just circles around okay i can even go the other way see no it does have feet i didn't know that okay and of course it's chalk you guys know i'm partial to chalk coach bags i don't know what it is i'm drawn to it and i've been looking at this beautiful bag for a couple of months and like I said when I ended up getting the deal of a lifetime on it I, I mean I, who am I to say no who am I to say no to a good deal okay I mean I'm nobody right oh yeah it's the Tyler the Tyler you know I think I might get the T Rose charm. Not the one with all of them, but there's like a smaller one in the coach color and I've looked at that as well. That would be really pretty on this. And I'm not really a charm a, a big charm person. I have a few, but something about the little T Rose charms I think would be beautiful. This is a classy bag. Okay. And I love the way the straps just fall. Okay, look at that beautiful caramel color on the inside. This is classy. And then it's got this giant middle zip. You know, put your wallet in there. It'd be a great travel bag. The only thing is I'm gonna spray it. You guys, I am gonna spray it with my Apple Guard. And I wouldn't wear it with a denim top or anything like that. I would be careful. I'm careful with my coach bags, with my chalk, coach chalk bags. <laughs> but I am gonna spray it and treat it. This is a beauty, you guys. Lovely. Oh, mmm, smells so good. They should bottle this, Winnie. This is a scent. They should, mmm, I love it. I love it. So this is my unboxing. 
the Coach Pebble Tyler and Chalk. Happy Mother's Day. And I want to say thank you to all of you. You guys rock. And I have a very special video coming up, a collaboration with Dawn very soon. We're going to do a try on. And I don't do those very much. Like, I don't think I'm good at it. <laughs> but I'm going to, you guys. I'm going to because we ordered some summer, like some spring and summer clothes. And we're going to do a try on video very soon for you guys. Okay, guys. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I wish I had more for you. But that's all I got. That's all I got, guys. And remember, it's not a bag. It's a baguette.